Welcome to this video series where we're going to be looking at PCBs. This is the first video and we're going to be looking at PCB basics. So what's the difference between a PCB and a PCBA? Well, you can generally refer to a blank, unstaffed and unsolded printed circuit board as a PCB. You can see an example of this on the top image here. The assembled and soldered assembly is then known as a PCBA or a board assembly or simply a PCA. And you can see an example of this on this bottom image. So if we look at the two differences, the top one clearly has no components on it, whereas the bottom has a fully populated um, set of components. So the basic understanding of a PCB. A basic PCB consists of a flat sheet of insulating material and a layer of copper foil laminated to the substrate. Chemical etching divides the copper into separate conducting lines called tracks or circuit traces, pads for connections, wires to pass connections between layers of copper. The tracks function as wires fixed in place and are insulated from each other by air and the board substrate material. The surface of the PCB may have a coating that protects the copper from corrosion and reduces the chances of solder shorts between traces or undesired electrical contact from stray bare wires. This coating is called the solder resist. You can see an example of a bare PCB here on the right where we can clearly see the tracks and the holes or the wires going from one side of the board to the other. So what makes up a PCB? The basic PCB consists of four layers, which are heat laminated together into a single board. The four layers are substrate, copper, solder mask, and silk screen. The substrate needs to be thermally stable, and the most common material used is FR4. FR4 is a glass epoxy high pressure thermoset plastic laminate with good strength to weight ratio with near zero water absorption. FR simply stands for flame retardant. And you can see the basic layers here in this image where we have the substrate, the copper, the solder mask and the silk screen on top. So what are the different layers on top of the FR4? First we have the copper layer, which is the electrical conductor where the tracks are etched which make up the circuit. The thickness can vary depending on the power requirements, but in general the thickness is around 35 microns or equivalent to 1.4 thou. Second is the solder mask layer and this gives the PCB its green colour. Its purpose is to insulate the copper tracks from contact with metal, solder or other conductive items. And third, this silk screen layer is a combination of shapes, letters, symbols and instructions. It provides identification for each part. And you can clearly see that in this image where we have part identifications. Don't forget to check out our other videos in this series and you can always contact us if you need any help with your projects in China. So don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you hit this little bell symbol that will notify you of any new content that we upload so thanks for listening my name is paul adams from soft east and i shall see you in the next video Ooh.